Hey guys, it's Jana with Pest Routes. Today I want to talk to you about how to create chemicals in the system. And then once we have those chemicals created, I'm going to show you how to add them to service types as a chemical template so that, so that they will appear um, every time you schedule an appointment and it saves your technician time. So without further ado, let's get started. Always love to start on the dashboard screen. And from there, to create your chemicals, you're going to go to Admin up here on the top bar, and then Preferences, and then you're going to come down here to your service-related um, preferences. We're going to go to Chemicals. So you can see here, I already have a few chemicals created in my system. I'm going to go ahead and I want to create a Tempered SC, which I don't have. So I'm going to click Add Chemical. And then in my chemical name, I'm going to put that brand name, Tempered SC. And then in the product label, I want to put my active ingredient. So you can see here on this tab, I already have um, the label open. So you can just Google, I Googled Tempered SC label, and I found this one. And so here are my active ingredients. You're probably already familiar with this. So in that product label field, I'm going to put this one. And the percentage, so let's see if I could just copy and paste that. And paste, excellent. And I'm going to put the um, percentage here. You don't have to, but I like to, 21.0%. Put a semicolon. And then I'm going to put the other active ingredient. Of course, you guys know that not uh, every chemical has multiple active ingredients, but the um, character limit in this field should be enough that you can um, add all the active ingredients that you need to. So there is cyfluserin, and that is at 10.5%. Oops. Okay. Um, this is just a little button. Uh, you're not going to be able to delete your chemicals once um, you have created them because deleting them would remove them from all your previous appointments. So we just allow you to hide them. So if at any point in time you're not using, like say in the future we decide not to use Tempered SC anymore, we can hide it so it's not available to be selected on um, appointments. Um, but for now, of course, we're going to leave it visible. Now we're going to come down to our units, concentrated unit, diluted unit, inventory unit. If this is a chemical that needs to be diluted into water, you're going to set um, the unit that is um, added to the gallon of water typically here, and then diluted unit is the amount that you're applying. So again, uh, let's refer back to our label. And if I come all the way down here, it had a... Um, It had our dilution percentages here. Let me see, I may have gone past it. I did. Let's see if we have see if we have one for outdoor pests. Mm -hmm. Indoor pests. Application for indoor pests. Outdoor. Let's do outdoor perimeter pests. Okay. So it is milliliters. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Let's see where that uh, fluid ounce is. Let's see. It usually will give us a little bit more of a... Let's do this for indoor pests. I know I saw that one for sure. Here we go. Uh, it gives us both fluid ounces and milliliters as a, as a concentrated unit, so we can choose whichever one we want. Um, I'm going to do the fluid ounces. Uh, because whatever unit we select is going to be the unit that it reports to the state and to the customer. So you can choose whichever one you want, fluid ounces, and then that was into a gallon of water. You see that? Fluid ounces or milliliters into a gallon. So the gallon is our diluted unit. And then the next unit is going to be the inventory <laughs> unit. So when you order this chemical, does it come in fluid ounces or does it come in maybe quarts? or um, cups. I'm guessing it comes in fluid ounces. You'll, of course, know for sure. And then um, we've got our units here. I'm going to skip over here to measurement type because all three of these units and this measurement type have to match. So 
Uh, fluid ounces and gallons are both volume measurements, so my measurement type needs to be set to volume. I know that um, in certain cases you may have um, a dry ingredient or like a, a powdered or granular ingredient that needs to be mixed into water and, and diluted. Um, in those cases, you're not going to be able to set it. Oftentimes it will say like grams, how many grams get diluted into the gallon. But notice that's a weight unit, and you can't have two different units. Um, in the current version of pest droughts. So um, I have looked at those labels before, and often there is a conversion on the label itself. So it would be like 10 grams is one tablespoon. So you would set your um, concentrated unit as a tablespoon, and, and do the um, you'd have to do the math. So if it's 30 grams go into a gallon, then that would be three tablespoons if 10 grams equal a tablespoon. So keep that in mind. We're going to set this one for fluid ounces, though, because temperate SC is already a liquid. It's a liquid and a liquid. Down here we have our SDS link. So typically you can just Google um, Temprid SC, uh, MSDS, or SDS. And you're just going to copy. Um, let's see if we can like do my own pest control is typically a pretty good one. Or maybe if I want to do backed by bear, that's going to be typically the one um, from the company. Oops, there we go. I'm just going to copy this link, copy, and then paste it right here. So you can just paste in the SDS or the MSDS link, and it's going to include it when it sends that service notification. And uh, so if, if, if your customers have concerns about, um, can I let my pets out in the backyard? Can my kids play? You know, what, are, what, are, um, what do I need to know about the chemical that you applied? They can just click on the SDS link themselves and not have to call your company, saving you guys a little bit of time, hopefully. Um, next over here is the default dilution. Now, this is the area that most people um, get incorrect. They, they um, put the, and it's a great guess, they put the, app, the use rate right here, the dilution percentage, right? This is actually going to be the amount of active ingredient diluted into that gallon of water, when what Pest Droughts wants you to put is the amount of total chemical or whole chemical diluted in the water. So we want to know how much is 0.72 fluid ounces diluted in a gallon? What's that dilution percentage? Um, and so we give you a dilution rate calculator up here to do that math. So that was 1, I mean, I'm sorry, 0.27 fluid ounces into 1 gallon. There we go. So it's um, the active chemical in that gallon of water is going to be, I'm sorry, not the active, uh, the whole chemical, the whole amount of temperate SC in that gallon of water is only 0.21%. We're just, I'm just going to copy, copy, close that, and paste. So again, because this is really important, it's not going to be the active ingredient, which is what the label gives you here. It's going to be the whole chemical. So you're going to have to do the math of how many fluid ounces or milliliters go into that gallon, uh, and what is that percentage. And the reason is because your technician's going to see just the diluted unit. So he applied half a gallon. Um, on the back end, Pestrout is going to do the math and convert it for you into the concentrated unit. So it's going to say half a gallon of diluted chemical times 0.21 blah, 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 percent equals this many fluid ounces. So it was like 0.27. That would be what is half of that point. 135, right? And it's going to report that to the customer. It's going to report that to the state, and it's going to report it back to the inventory management reports if you're using um, the inventory management reports here in Pest Droughts. And um, see our other video about inventory management reports if you want to know more about that. So it's really important that you put the uh, correct dilution here, or it's going to be reporting the wrong amount of concentrated chemical that you applied to the customer and to the state. So that's really important. Next is going to be application method. So for these indoor pests, let's see how it tells us to apply. Um, fan type nozzle, spray, foam, cracker crevice, void applications. Um, 
So that might be if I'm misting it, that might be like I'm going to use a backpack sprayer, right? So we've got a lot of different um, different uh, uh, application methods here. Uh, crack and crevice, a lot of those things. I'm going to general sprays in there. I think I'm going to use power mister, let's say. So if that's the way I, I typically apply this, I can set this here. Your global setting, you'll see this often. If you have multiple um, branches or offices, you can make it. You can just create chemicals once and make it available to all offices. If you just have a, sim, a singular office, you don't have to really worry about this setting. EPA number, let's go back to this label. You guys are probably familiar with this stuff. There's my EPA number. Copy. Manufacturer, again, backed by Bayer, so it's just Bayer right here. And then application rate, that is where some people choose to put that 0.05%. So where was that at? Uh, for oh, in here, indoor pests. There we go. Sometimes this is where they want to put that application rate. See, uh, application rate of point. 0.75%. You can also, um, where did I put, see it yesterday? There was an additional application rate here of, I don't think it's on the indoor. I think it might be here on the outdoor. Yeah, this is the one I meant to, it's the same thing. Let's pretend this is where I started from. Um, uh, no more than 32 fluid ounces of, of tempered SC insecticide per acre. So I'm going to put that uh, here, because that's the way I choose to use this. 32 fluid F. What is uh, the abbreviation for fluid ounces? Let's look. It doesn't say. We're just going to think, say it's OU. Fluid ounces um, per acre. And that's it. So that chemical is created. I'm going to save this. And there it is. It, it put it in alphabetical order. There we are. OK. If I needed to go back and make changes, I can edit it. Um, one note on chemicals, we already discussed if you have to mix a, um, a uh, granule or a dry ingredient into a liquid, how you kind of do that conversion rate. If you have something like Advion ant gel here, that default dilution is actually going to be 100%. Some people think it's 0%, but because you're using 100% of the, of the whole chemical, when you apply it, it's not diluted at all, you're going to put 100% in there. All right, now that we have um, our chemicals created, let's go apply a chemical template. So I'm going to scroll down here, and again, I'm still under Admin, Preferences, and I'm going to go to my service type. It's under the service related. Okay, so quarterly pest control service. I have not yet um, put chemical template on that, so this little link over here, chemical template. And now I can add them. So anything that my technicians typically use um, for quarterly pest control service, I'm going to put here. This doesn't mean that if they, they don't use something, like maybe they, uh, the person requests not to use a certain chemical, that they can't remove it easily from that appointment. Or if they use something else, maybe they need to uh, use something in addition to the, the typical default chemicals, um, they can easily add that as well. Um, it, this just kind of gives them a base level to start with, so they're not having to just add everything in the field every time. It saves them a little time, and it also um, makes you more accurate because you're kind of um, making it so much easier for them to get it get it right. So we're going to add here. Notice we um, can add everything. Oh, I don't have my tempered. Let me refresh this. Sometimes when you add something here in the preferences section. You just have to refresh it to make it show up. So go back, chemical template, there it is. So I've got all the chemicals that I have um, uh, created in my system that I can add to this. So maybe on the quarterlies, they're typically using Advion ant gel. And you can see it pulls through that dilution percentage, and it pulls through my um, 
or it pre-populates, excuse me, the dilution rate and the application method and the um, diluted unit. And then um, each time for uh, the appointment, the person's going to be able to say um, how many grams they applied or how many of that, how much of that diluted unit. Um, they'll also probably be able to say how much square footage, so you can pre-populate that, but for the most part you probably won't be pre-populating how much they applied and the square footage. You can say the insects that you are targeting here, so and the areas, maybe this is going to be windows, um, that kind of thing. So you can pre-populate um, uh, pests and locations. If you need to remove anything, you accidentally put it on there and you want to take it off, just hit this little red button with the white X and it'll remove it. Let's add add the ant gel. Let's add our tempered. Again, there's power mister. There's an application method I put. Gallons, because that's my diluted unit again, and there's my dilution percentage. And let's say this is for spiders. And maybe we're going to put it on baseboards, interior baseboards, that kind of thing. And let's add one more. Let's add um, my sidekick. Okay, and we'll just leave that for them to put. See, I did not um, specify my um, my application method on my Psychic CS chemical when I created it, so I could always I could always put it here if I needed to. I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And now, when I schedule anything for my quarterly pest control, any appointment of that service, it's going to pre-populate these on the appointment. And so when my technician gets into tech routes, they already have those three chemicals there and they can just say how much they applied and then um, the square footage if they want to and complete the appointment. Um, again, they can add additional chemicals or additional target pests or locations or whatever you need. This just gives them some place to start um, so they don't have to recreate it every time in the field. I hope that was um, helpful for you with creating chemicals and assigning chemical templates. Um, if you still have questions remaining, uh, we know this is a really important area for um, you, so definitely feel free to ask your implementation specialist or our support department. We're always here to help. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.